Crystal Faulkner with the CPA and Business Advisory Firm of Cooney, Faulkner & Stevens. We're here today with Todd Swarmstead. Todd is the founder of the American Sign Museum. And Todd, I know your family has been in the sign industry with a magazine about signs for about 100 years or more. But you have taken it a step further. You've actually created a few years ago a national sign museum, the American Sign Museum that's right here in Cincinnati. Let's talk about that. Well, the American Sign Museum, as you said, is right here in Cincinnati. It's the only sign museum in the country. Um, it's kind of my midlife crisis project, as, as it were. Um, I uh, worked on Signs of the Times magazine, which, as you said, was um, founded in 1906. My great-grandfather was, was the first editor of the magazine. Um, I'd worked on the magazine about 27, 28 years. Spent a lot of time in sign shops. There wasn't a sign museum, so I got the idea of starting a sign museum. And we are glad you did because I will tell you, it's like a hidden treasure here in our city. And the American Sign Museum now has a new home, and you actually have a sneak preview for the public next Saturday. Maybe you can share some of those details. Yes, um, the uh, sneak preview is uh, uh, June second. It's going to be um, from uh, one to five p.m. It's kind of a family event. It's uh, um, uh, a very American. We'll have popcorn and hot dogs and all for everybody. Um, the actual grand opening is going to be three weeks later, June 23rd, but we had so many people wanting to come see the museum, we thought we'd have this uh, fundraiser sneak preview. And it's like a history lesson, isn't it? You can walk through the museum, you can see all kinds of signs dating back from years and years, and not only that, but you can have events, you can have parties, receptions, school outings. Yes, we've already had, um, here in, in May, we've already had four or five events. People were, were chomping at the bit to, uh, to be in there. And we have a number of events already planned for uh, June and July, but it can be receptions, business meetings, et cetera. Well, real quick, the, the website, if folks want more information about the museum or the sneak preview, is www.signmuseum.org. We're going to continue our conversation with Todd Swarmstead, founder of the American Sign Museum, on WCPO.com slash businesswise. So, Todd, as we mentioned, the sneak preview is next weekend. In addition to the fun and excitement that you can have, it's, America, it's an American type of a party, isn't it? Very, very American. For example, they'll have popcorn and sodas, and people can stroll around looking at the signs. Yeah, it's really kind of a walk down memory lane. Um, we, we particularly like to have, take senior groups through the museum because the museum conjures up memories for them, and it's always good memories. And every, every sign has a story, right? A part of history about the time period that it was in. For example, that particular sign that's sitting on the couch with you right now, that sign dates back to the 30s. Actually, it was, it was done by a man named Alf Becker, who um, was known for his alphabets. He <laughs> actually did one alphabet a month in Signs at a Times for 232 issues which is about 20 years worth. This is at, at, during his time at Levy Sign Company, St. Louis. So there's actually a lot of history behind this particular sign. Well, Todd, why are you so passionate about signs? I mean, I know that you grew up in the sign industry, but why are you personally so passionate about this? I th think that they reflect um, uh, a time when, when, uh, when there was a more of appreciation for, for craftsmanship. A, a sign, a sign um, builder, a fabricator, a sign company had to be a jack of all trades. They had to design the sign, they had to paint the sign or bend the neon, they had to install the sign, and then they had to be a business person too, and they had to go collect the money, and they had to do sales. So I think it's a, it's a great uh, a metaphor uh, for small business in the U.S. And how many signs would you say that are in the museum? We have about 550 signs right now, uh, always growing, the collection's always growing. Well, where do you find them? Where do we find the signs? We find the signs everywhere. Um, <laughs> we actually are working on trying to acquire the Bay Horse Cafe sign down on Main Street. I understand the, the, um, the uh, building is up in the air. Mm -hmm. Right now, someone just called us yesterday and said the sign is down. I've been working on getting that sign for about four or five years. So if someone has a cool sign, and they'd like to someday contribute it to, to the museum. I mean, would you be willing to go and speak to them? How does that process work? The, the easiest process, if they, if they uh, send me an email, it's, uh, you can find my email address um, on the website, www.signmuseum.org, and just uh, send me an image first. And, and then one last time, the Sign Museum has a new home. It's got a sneak preview 
on Saturday, June the 2nd. The grand opening is later in June. And if, if folks want to attend, is there a charge to it? Um, the sneak preview is a fundraiser for us, so it's $25 a person. Um, the first 200 who, who, who register are going to get a sp special uh, commemorative T-shirt. Well, I'll tell you, I, for one, will be there what, looking at all the beautiful signs and going back through memory lane. Todd Swarmstead, thanks so much for being our guest, and thank you for giving us here in Cincinnati the American Sign Museum. Thank you, Crystal. Good luck with it. Thanks.